Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my brand new Hardcore Iron Man series. We're gonna keep things really simple for this one. The goal of the series is gonna be to obtain a full set of best in slot gear for all three combat styles on a brand new Hardcore Iron Man account. I don't wanna necessarily outline every single item I wanna get done on this account, but just think to yourself in your head of what an absolutely maxed out in every way possible account is, and that's what we're going for. As for rules and restrictions, I will be allowed group content this time around because honestly, solo was great, but not being able to PVM with anybody for three years, uh, you know, takes a toll on a person. I will be allowed to engage in group content as well as to use the full extent of my game knowledge and what is allowed within the Iron Man game mode. But in the interest of not making this the lamest, most boring series in the universe, there will be no leeching done on this account at any point. Any group PVM I'm doing with anybody else has to be using weapons of no more than three tiers above mine. So if I'm using a tier 70, someone else on the team can't be using a tier 75. This also applies to things like DG token farming and ED3 GP farming. If I want to do those things, everybody on the team needs to be on the same level of gear as me. And that's pretty much it. We kept things really simple for this one. So it's time to finally start our brand new account. Let's get it. Okay, this is a screen I have not seen in a very long time. The Name Your Hero character creation screen, probably been three years, or probably over three years actually since I made Fast Drag. So, you know, the next journey, this one will probably take a similar amount of time, although probably a little less because I can actually group. But uh, a character needs a name, and an important, serious character such as this one, you know, it needs a name that is befitting of you know, that kind of series. So in order to properly encapsulate that, I've done a lot of thinking over the last few days, and I think I've got the perfect name. Okay, perfect. We're done. Um, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to the stream, and welcome to the adventures of RSN Tall and Manly. Welcome to the brand new Hardcore Iron Man. We are just logging in right now proper for the first time. I have not stepped off the lodestone. And we're going to be starting our adventure. So, obviously, you know, we got a bit of work to do to go from what we currently have right now, which is 37 total level and nothing, um, and full best in slot. But that's the point. This could take multiple years. This could be a multi-year long series. So, with that in mind, let's uh, let's get amongst it. The one other thing that I did want to take you guys through is we have a custom wiki page. Um, we have a custom wiki page, and in said custom wiki page, uh, basically I've got my series overview, my rules, and then my actual progression plan as well, so that as we're getting through stuff today, uh, we can actually tick stuff off. We've got an idea what to do next, and this is going to be like an efficient Iron Man pathway so that's uh i think everything we gotta get into let's begin okay so the very first thing on our progression plan is start off as a female so we're already already wrong there but i'm just gonna check that off that's fine uh step one is complete our daily challenges so let's get into it basic wood cutting four logs six crayfish and some mining beautiful let's get it wait for level two let's go all right fishing challenge done and then the other one we needed was common gem mining um i think that's here i just tried to blade a dive ha huh, that's funny is this the wrong cave oh my god that's the wrong cave when he goes into the wrong cave okay so i need lapis lily jade or topaz from the gem rocks in the mine okay all right, you chat, almost done. Pause, champ. You guys ready? Here we go. The first set of daily challenges. Bang. Wait. <laughs> All right, three of this time. Let's get our dailies done. Okay, fire making daily done. Man, I need cooking and fletching. Okay. I I'm so fired up. I'm so fired up for this. I'm actually stoked for this. I'm burning them all. How much XP? I'm hoping for like a thousand XP. Again? Bro, it literally said 
daily challenge. Claim your reward from the challenge shop. Yeah, what f***ing reward? Oh, nice reward, idiot. Okay, so are we in an infinite loop? Do we do this again? I guess we just do this again, right? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna... Okay, do we continue forever? Do you guys want to know some of the other names that we had for this series? Um, we had Sturdy Client. That was one of them. Um, we had Steady Client as well. Also great ideas. <laughs> Okay, so I I have learned that I'm not going to get any XP for these. We're just going to hit claim rewards, and then we get to move on. Wait, I don't have a weapon. I'm not about to punch cows. Am I really? Oh, no, I do have a weapon. Wait, Pog. They spawned me in with a bronze dagger. Let's go. All right, combat time. Okay, can I say, I do find it really funny that this game starts you off with a Revo bar, four basic abilities, and ability queuing. <laughs> I don't know if this is on our uh, on our best in slot checklist, but uh, we are about to have a full set of gear, so that's pretty cool. As far as I know, now that we've got our full set of range gear, it's time to get a charge bow, and uh, I'm going to need two maxed mains with Fasoas to carry me through ED3 for like five or six hours, okay? Alrighty, team. For real this time. Give me, like, at least 1,000 XP. Okay, 850. That's that's good, too. We are level 6 mining, 6 crafting, 4 smithing. Absolutely get in. All right, that was super, super worth it. Can we have RuneScape music on for the Violet Quest? Yes, we can. Also, something cool about the Violet Quest. I have never done them on any account. I've literally never done them before. So it's going to be brand new for us. How long did it take to like the plan? Um, Well, I had to copy-paste a wiki page and then make a couple changes to it. It took a very long time, many months. Gaming. And that is the first quest completed on the brand new Hard Cry Iron Man, Violet is Blue. Really good quest, honestly. Super, super fun quest. Okay. And we're supposed to use all three XP lamps on farming. That's interesting. And just like that, we were level six farming that's actually huge that gets us pretty close to beehives already and that is violet is blue two pause champ quest complete construct 4k xp wait that's actually sick okay so that's 19 construction 19 summoning and 19 fletching that is absolutely disgusting an hour and change into the account and we're 131 total there we go. Accept the quest. A few minutes later. That is the Druidic Ritual quest done. Four quest points, 250 XP, some guabs, some Eyes of a Newt. Absolutely beautiful. And that is level three Ervor. And that is the Wolf Whistle quest complete. 275 gold charms. Huge summoning XP lamp. All right, next step is the first three floors of the Stronghold of Security. Can I do that on 10 HP? Should you ever allow anyone to level up your account? This is really funny because they don't enforce any of these rules. He is my best friend. Oh, wait, this is literally questing services. Let him do the quest in the same room. Yeah, this world of just all Iron Man. This is hype. Can 104 be the new hard cry Iron Man world? I'm out of red energy. Oh no, please don't, please don't. We are, uh, we are not thriving. We are not thriving today, chat. Also, we got ourselves 14 divination levels for that. That is absolutely nuts. Cash is complete. Now we're going to go back to the storm of security. Get our last level done. Who can I get my password to? Okay, the actual answer is literally anybody you want to. Okay, we're dead in this room if they aggro. We're literally dead in this room. All right, chat. Put on thick skin. Oh, we're fine. Easy. Easy clap. What's a good example of a bank pin? Okay, I would argue your real life bank pin would probably be good enough. All right, chat. Fighting boots or fancy boots? What do you guys think? Because to me, we're tall and manly and we're styling. Look at this. The Christmas lights. It's just, it's a look. It's a fit. It's immaculate. Let's go do what was formerly known as the Romeo and Juliet quest, but they had to change the name of it. Don't know why. Let's get it. Just so you guys know. Um... That box right there, that is a literal maid outfit that you guys made me buy. So, alrighty, that is the Gunner's Ground Quest complete, 300 crafting XP and an antique lamp. We are now level 11 crafting. What are we supposed to do? 
with this lamp. So it's to throw it on construction. Interesting. I think a lot of this is to get us XP and levels so that we can start doing all the D&Ds. Welcome, tall and manly. Um, I guess I'm okay with group bosses. Yeah. I'm happy to receive skilling bosses. Oh, you can turn off Croesus Reapers? I didn't know that. That's really interesting. All right, eight Croesus. Yes, you can. Let's go. How am I going to contribute to a Croesus kill? I'm not. It's just to get eight kill count for... um. It's just for Slayer points and Reaper points. Um, Do I have to do the archaeology tutorial to get the manual? Yeses, noes, and I think so's. Perfect. Um, Chat, do you guys think I should do it while I'm here? I think we should do it. Okay, I think we're done the tutorial. It's gross this time. Oh no, I'm stunned. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Dude, I'm actually dead. <laughs> no, life is so hard. Squid just sent me a picture and I just want to show my hands in chat. One, if I should ban him for this and two, if I should keep him. Like, what is that, bro? Okay, so instead of doing pubs, should we just form a massive team with people from stream? Just like a full on mass? Maybe that's better. You know what? Let's just do that. Do we need to talk about how to do Croesus? Or do you guys think... I, you know, I have so much faith in this community. You guys are going to pop off, all right? This is going to be so scuffed. I don't know what's going on. 74 contribution. Wait, 20 construction pug! Let's go, dude! No! <laughs> We're doing a Croesus mass, man. It's fine. Everybody's doing great, all right? <laughs> all right. You may pause, champ. Here we go. I want at least 15 levels. And in less than 15, I'm disappointed. Here we go. What? <laughs> this game is too freaking easy, man. Um, yeah, that was, uh, you know, just a casual 30 Slayer levels. Okay, that is the Ernest Chicken Quest. Four quest points, 3,000 coins. It's actually pretty big. All right, chat, what do you think the score is going to be? I think we're going to hit a crisp 90. <laughs> 80 flat. You know what? We'll take a flat 80. And we will take 4,400 Divi XP. We are now level 24. That is the stuff that we quest complete. 19 QPs. We are absolutely flying and we're about to get a ton of XP as well, which is awesome. Let's do it. We want one bull on farming to get level 17, which is what we need for player on farms, which is absolutely huge. Okay, we need two bulls on construction. That is level 21 and then seven bulls on fletching. We are now level 21 fletching, 21 construction and 17 farming. That is level six fishing. Get in. Alrighty, beautiful. Combat XP lamp, let's do level two attack, defense, strength, magic, ranged, and we are now level six combat. Very soon, we're gonna be totally unkillable. All right, next quest we are gonna be doing is the Restless Ghost. Another quick one. A few moments later. That is the Restless Ghost quest complete and level nine prayer as well. All right, next quest on our to-do list is Cook's Assistant. There we go. Cook's Assistant done. We are now on 22 quest points. Good stuff. Level eight cooking as well. 231 total. All right, what's next? Five gifted subs for me to steal the, the Zami wine. Um, Chat, should I do it? Oh, you can't even get it. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I, I thought the arc book cleared damage. I thought the arc book was like the ectophile. I didn't realize it didn't clear damage. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That was I I had no idea that this didn't uh that this didn't clear damage. Because almost every teleport of the game clears damage. I can't believe that happened. I literally cannot believe that happened. We need to get an ectophile. Thank you for the five gifted squid. A man of his word. All right, that is goblin diplomacy done. There were no close calls at any point. 
and we can finally go to May and get ourselves our first quest point die, which should be absolutely massive. We've got a total of 27 QPs right now. Just flying. Absolutely flying. All right. Wish me luck. Black plate body T, which is not a fortunate component. That's kind of unlucky. And 250,000 coins. Absolutely huge. All right, next up is I got to buy some runes. Okay, I need fire runes, water runes, air runes. Earth, mind, and body. Okay, train rune crafting all the way to 50. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I should probably do circus. Uh, okay. So we should do circus now, yeah? After the circus, though, we're going to Runespan to the circus. And also worth noting, there's a channel in Discord for videos to watch recommendations while we're doing some of the skilling portions of, you know. I don't know how to max score from the circus, but we'll, we'll go in. Juggle some balls. <laughs> That's circus done. Nine magic, five range, seven agility. Not bad. All right, next step, 50 runecrafting. Let's go. I read up guides on the wiki. I taught my wife how to play so that I could shower while she got my smith. <gasps> that is against the rules, good sir. Can I make the joke that you know he's not a RuneScape player because he has a wife? Shit. I don't have anti-fires, but it's 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 gonna be fine. <laughs> it's not fine. I'm geared and I'm as ready as I'm ever gonna be. Let's get it together. I've used the same song now three separate times. It's time to take on the Queen Black Dragon. So guys, anyway, that's the whole video. It was fine. We just like we were kind of just ran out of food, so you know, don't need to continue watching that. Everything's everything was fine. We just we ran out of food, so we teleport. Oh, there's five more minutes in the Oh, okay. Look at if I had not moved at all, I would have been fine. Like I literally had I to not move. Misclicking and making Look at this! Running into the third firewall, I misclicked my two H key bind, which unequipped my shield. Dude, this killed me. I'm honestly glad Twitch is different from what it was, because if I did this on this account. Everybody would make fun of me for inting. Like, people would be like, he literally inted. He's milking early game. Like, you know what I mean? I literally would not get away with a misclick that bad. Oh my goodness. What happened? What happened? And... Oh, no! Seen this clip a lot of times. <laughs> Seen this clip uh, a lot, a lot. Of... It, you know, it's good we're getting this out of the way on day one of the new hardcore. It's just a reminder of all of the... Things that make this game mode terrible. 44. Let's go. We take those. Does that give me access to anything? Oh, it's nature runes. Wait, that's hype. And that's done. Access to the runecrafting guild. That was a bit of a grind. We could we could call that the first grind of the account for sure. So let's get some Vizwax team. The first time, and by that, I mean the first of many, many, many times, because we're going to have to be doing this every single day if we want to progress correctly. Yeah, that is level 50 in the runecrafting skill, 296 total level. With 50 runecrafting out of the way, that is going to be the end of day one and episode number one of our brand new Hardcore Iron Man adventure. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and a comment to support. You can subscribe and all that stuff if you want to, but if you don't, that's cool too. But far more importantly, I hope you all enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in a few days to continue our journey.